Hey, School Bus here. So the question I will pose to you today is why would you want to limit your frame rate when playing World of Tanks or really any other game for that matter? Well, I may have found a very specific reason if you happen to be recording. Now, if you aren't recording, you still, I would argue, benefit from limiting and capping your frame rates such that you don't have them jumping all over the place. And as frame rates change, it can kind of change the way that the game feels. And by extension of that, it's going to change the way you're leading targets. And uh, you don't really want that to change much. You just want that nice, consistent feel. So previously, I had always been running with my V-Sync turned on to my 60 hertz monitor, so I would get 60 frames per second. Well, I was doing some exploration this weekend to see if I were to upgrade my monitor to a more modern gaming monitor that actually would allow up to, say, 144 hertz, how much of that could I take advantage of? Well, first off, I figured out that at 2K, I don't have enough video card to be able to push 144 hertz. That didn't surprise me, at least not with the detail turned all the way up to ultra in World of Tanks. But the other thing I happen to learn is what we're seeing on the screen right here. If I limit the frame rate to 85 frames per second, I'm not using all of the video card. And you can see that in the graph on the uh, right hand column, third one down in the, uh, the plots coming from uh, Precision OC. On the left hand side, where I'm not restricting the frames, you can see where it just sits capped out. And it doesn't go all the way to 100%, and that's normal. Uh, usually it doesn't sit at 95, usually it's more like 99. But at any rate, you can see it is hitting a limiting factor. Well, not only does hitting that limiting factor cause the game to sometimes have inconsistencies as frame rates will come up and down, it also affects the ability for the video card to deliver the frame information to the encoder because to be clear here I am encoding using the CPU not the NVE and C NVIDIA based encoder I would have fully expected to see this behavior when doing that but I'm actually seeing using the X264 using the CPU using my 12 core 24 thread processor and it is not capped out right now to be clear it's sitting at maybe 35 40 percent usage tops so you do have some frame del frame delivery problems when you allow the video card to work at its full capability so the takeaways from this are one you may want to study your video card usage and you can just do that especially in Windows 10 you can just turn on the task manager go to performance and it'll show you what the video card load is so you can go in see how much of it you're using and maybe go in and set your frame rate target lower I'm doing it right now using precision OC uh, I think you can do it in MSI afterburner as well and MSI Afterburner, FYI, will work on all video cards. Precision OC is only for EVGA cards. But you can set a target, and then it will only work to achieve that, and then it won't actually try and deliver any frames above it. The other way you can do it is to turn on your V-Sync. So if you have a 60 hertz monitor, then it would restrict it to 60 frames per second. And traditionally, that's the way I've been running mine. But I think I'm going to get a monitor that allows me to sync at maybe 100 frames per second. And I think that will work out pretty well for my purposes. So I hope this was useful, helpful to some of you. And uh, if so, give it a like. And uh, if you're enjoying this channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day.